I'm Dorian Gagel and this is Becky. Becky's place was named after her. Becky's Place has been here for just over seven years now. So when I first started with Becky's Place, I mainly worked with people with disabilities. But the last four or five years, I've concentrated mainly on anxiety. So what I do is I help them to find the calm place inside their brain. So Jackson, he's ADHD, autistic. He also has been diagnosed with ODD, which is Oppositional Defiance Disorder. And he has a PDA profile, which is the Pathological Defiance Disorder as well. So he will defy anybody at any cost. And he has quite a lot of aggressive tendencies as well. It's funny, I was looking for things and then an ad popped up for an anxiety workshop and I saw the pony. So I reached out for the anxiety workshop, talked about Jackson, and then she goes, well, why don't we do a one-on-one? -on -one? Quite often we'll go for a walk first. Without them even realising it, I'm bringing mindfulness to them. So I set the pace, we slow it all down. We'll walk down around the fairy garden. So we will look for little flowers that the fairies help us grow. We will look for mushrooms and toadstools. We're here in the present. That's everything at Becky's Place is about that. The times I didn't have horses in my life, my anxiety was worse. And when I look back, whenever I had horses around me, I was in a much better place. So when I started Becky's Place, I still didn't fully understand how much they help us. So then I started to learn and understand that they are prey animals, we are predators. So they need to feel safe. So if we're not in a good place, they're not gonna to wanna to be near us. So in that circumstance, I'd say, well, okay, we need to change what's happening inside so that the horses want to be with us. They can sense when Jackson's feeling a little bit anxious and they'll come up to him and just help calm him. He is a lot calmer after we leave. He's more, um, more focused. He's less prone to be angry at us. I love seeing children's faces, especially children that have anger issues, and they're always being told they're naughty. And I see the other side. I never see that side because the horses are doing the work with me as well. I remember one child in particular saying to me, I'm not a bad boy. And I'm like, no, you're not a bad boy. And that's why I, that's what I really love. I love helping the children.